Hi 40 plus. I am doing my November empties. These are things that I used up, either repurchased or didn't repurchase, and I'll give you a quick comments on each of them. Um, there's a decent sized stack and I don't want to uh, have this run on for, excuse me, for 30 minutes. So, first thing, eye hydration. Refresh Optive Advanced. Uh, this is a recent, uh, recent situation with me that I am, all of a sudden I have dry eyes. So I'm going through a third of an ounce of this stuff every week. And inside each box, there's a $3 coupon. So that's a trick. You buy the book. Grab the box, you open it before you go to the counter, and you get $3 off automatically. The company also has occasional email coupons as well. So, Refresh Optive Advanced Eye Drops. I use one of those up. A few, actually. Um, something uh, I tried from the travel section, Suave Professional Almond and Shea Butter Shampoo. It's a 100% natural. This is a travel size. So this was two ounces. I really like this. Right now I have four shampoos, so I'm not going to purchase right now, but I may pick up a bottle of this. It smelled really good. Not too sweet or overly cloying. Uh, just nice. And it is moisturizing. Uh, I've mentioned before, Mondays are a lot of work for me, and I take one of these uh, five hour energies assorted flavors, and I drink half in the morning and half between two and three o'clock in the afternoon, and it helps keep my energy up. It's sugar and caffeine on top of my coffee and Diet Coke, so it's just an extra boost without consuming a huge amount of liquid and having to make bathroom trips so I can actually get work done. I used up a half an ounce. I think it's a it's deluxe or it's a on the shelf at Walmart next to the full 1.7 ounce bottle. Um, and I tried it first. So this is what I tried. This is the Micro Sculpting Serum. And you put this on underneath the Micro Sculpting Moisturizer. And I did use it up and I did repurchase. So this is the $10 version and this is the expensive version. I really like it. I think it's helping even more. Um, I used up a 3D Crest uh, Radiant toothpaste and I switched to enamel shield and sensitive. So that's what I've got going on right now. Uh, no reason except once in a while I switch in a, a brightening uh, toothpaste. I have really sensitive teeth really really soft enamel um, and so this is what I use or even gentler most of the time. I used up a regular Carmex dry to the bone. I used up a regular Blistex. I used up LA Colors White Jumbo Eye Pencil. I dug deep. You can't even see nothing in there. This was the white one. Uh, it is a cheap alternate to the NYX uh, eye, eye Crayon in Milk. It is not a dupe. Um, it's kind of chalky and it 
if you over apply you end up with clown eyes so this was harder to use than the milk and I have repurchased milk not this I used up a physician's formula uh, amethyst eyeliner that was part of a green eyes shimmer strips trio and you can see there's there's absolutely nothing it's down to the flat so this is Physicians Formula Eyeliner and Amethyst. I do a my everyday eye look is is purple, so that's probably why I used that up over a black or anything. I used up a Desert Essence uh, tea tree oil blemish roller. I used up a Living Proof Restore Instant Repair. Um, hair treatment sample and I really liked it um, I will probably repurchase I probably will purchase full size after the first of the year I've got a basket of hair treatment samples that I'm going through but I really liked this one a lot uh, let's see I don't know how to pronounce this because it's just mangled and it's fake French. Um, the face mask or spa section in my Walmart has this brand. Um, face mask products and this I think it's Montaigne Genet I don't know honestly mint chocolate chip with crushed cocoa beans it's peppermint oil and cocoa this was really nice um, and it, it gave me a nice I used it uh, on a spa pamperage day um, it dried tight it, uh, I think it pulled some things out of my face with just the clay, pulling some of the oils away. Peppermint oil was nice and refreshing, gave it a little tingle also. Um, so I will repurchase this. I think it's a buck 30 something at my Walmart and worth it. I also used, same brand, uh, apricot kernel and walnut exfoliate, or peach kernel and walnut exfoliating mask that's what that looks like this was very very harsh very harsh very scrubby lots of kernels I would not use this all the time it, especially in the winter when my face is very dry this was too harsh of an exfoliant maybe in the summer um, Dermison TS Skin Firming Facial Sheet Mask. It's the pink one. Oh my god. This is basically glycerin, papaya extract, rose water, and assorted other things very light fragrance super 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 emollient I used this for about half an hour I had the sheet on I posted on Instagram a picture of my spa pamperage day that day um, I used the sheet for about 30 minutes. I rubbed it in my face. I went back of my neck, back of my shoulders, shoulders, decollete, and upper arms. It was still super moist. So I gave it to a buddy who then used it on the back of their hands and stuff because it was just they're full of full of juice. Good juice. Will repurchase. I think uh, I picked this up at Sally Beauty Supply. Yay. What else do I got? Um, last thing. 
Uh, I used up Birds, Bees, Cucumber, and Sage uh, makeup removing or cleansing towels for normal to dry skin. These are 99% natural. Um, they work, except they don't work on very, they don't work 100% on waterproof mascaras because they're not super moist. Uh, I made the decision not to repurchase these now. This, the fragrance was fine. It wasn't sagey or cucumbery. It was herbally. It smelled. It didn't smell like sage, but it smelled herbally, green herby. What I am using instead is the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit. These are normal to oily skin as well. Or no, these are normal to oily skin. Um, and these were normal to dry skin. These are more moist in the package than the Cucumber and Sage ever were. But yet, they're not the best for me to be using right now because it's winter and my skin, my face is falling off, it's so dry. I have put on moisturizer four times today. Now, especially here, very, very dry here. I'm not zooming you in. <laughs> so, these do better at removing waterproof mascara. Still not 100%. Um, and the scent, it smells like grapefruit. It really does. So, while I'm going to use them up, I'm not going to be using them twice a day. It's too harsh. So I'm, I need to get some face cloths that are for drier skin, or I might even try some for very dry skin. I know that um, Bloom has some, Physician's Formula has some in the organic line. Uh, I'll probably try those. I, I don't like Olay. I don't like Neutrogena. I don't like Ponds. So I look outside of that and I like from for this purpose because it's directly against my skin. I'm looking for something that's more natural. So those are my empties for November. Uh, hope you learned something here. If you have any questions, leave questions in the comments below. Like this video. Also, check us out on Facebook or the other social media sites. As I said, I, I posted a snowplow. I posted a video or a picture of my spa pamperage with the sheet mask just the other day. So check those out. Uh, stay happy and healthy and continue to learn something every day. I'm out.